begin building the tRNA, make sure you have the template, scissors, and tape. Cut out each piece, leaving the gray tabs intact. Step 2. Following the nucleotide numbering, tape the pieces into a long strip. The blank gray tabs should be hidden. Make slits in between each double line. There are 16 total. Be careful not to cut through the entire strip. Step 4. Fold back in a mountain fold on the horizontal dashed lines. Fold in a valley fold formation on the small vertical dotted lines. Step 6. Bring colored or patterned sections together and tape so the gray tab is hidden. It is important that you match the bases in the following order. Bases 10 to 13 should be aligned with 25 to 22. Bases 27 to 31 should be aligned with 43 to 39. Bases 49 to 53 should be aligned with 65 to 61. And bases 1 to 7 should be aligned with 72 to 66. Notice the almost perfect base pairing, G to C and A to U bases pair up. At this point, the model is a cloverleaf shape, the secondary structure of tRNA. Each colored region represents the double helical regions of the structure. Step 7. Bring together bases T19 and C56, colored yellow, to form a base pair. Hide the gray tab by taping it under. This forms the beginnings of the tRNA tertiary structure, the inverted L shape. For more information about tRNA, visit the RCSB PDB 101 website at rcsb.org/pdb101.